Hi, in this video we're going to look at the packages and how you can handle them in the system browser. So, if you remember correctly, the system browser can be accessed via var environment, going to tools, then system browser. So, all the packages are there on the left. And you can see that some of them have triangles on their left side. So, this basically will show you all the different tags that have been used on this package. What does that mean? So basically if you click on the package you will see all the classes from within it and if you click on one of the tags, so for example the parser, you can see that those classes have been defined using ASTCore-parser. So this means that you can really structure your package as you want and this will help you navigate inside it and this will give out the structure more clearly for your readers or proofreaders or any other developer working on it. So once again you can simply do it by using the name of a package dash the name of, a, of your tag. So another important thing is that you can filter out the different packages by using collections for example and this will show you all the packages having collections of a name and Another thing you can do is set up a scope. So you have a scope view here that if I click for example on AST Core, click on scope view, I will have only this one that will show up. And I can also right click and go to set up scope. So this will help me create a, a scope with only the packages I need. So for example, the free AST ones. Okay. And this will make your system browser counting only those free packages. So what this will do is it will only show you those free, but it will also restrict the actions you have on them only on those free. So this will control the actions you have on your environment and restrict them to only those free packages. So we saw how we can tag inside, create tags inside packages and set up a view in the system browser.